Hey folks, so today I'm going to show you how to deploy a static site on Cloud Foundry. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using Gatsby, but the processes that I'm going to show you would work for almost all um, static site generators from Hexo to Hugo to Jekyll, etc. So the first thing you'd want to do is log into Cloud Foundry. So um, CF login, I'm going to be using any nines for this, but you can use um, any Cloud Foundry um, commercial distribution available or the open source cloud foundry itself so after logging in i would ask to select the space so and i'm going to be using production because i mean i'm trying to push live so the next thing is to check if you would need the manifest the YML, a manifest the yml file which is a yaml file that contains um all the instructions that you need cloud foundry to follow when deploying your application so i can show you an example of the one i used i used it because i had i didn't want to type a very long command to specify some things but if your application is a small application and you don't need so many processes to happen while your application is being deployed then you can just cf push push directly or use the command so um my manifest the yml file i specify the name of the site and static site demo the memory the amount of memory i want to be allocated to the site the site then the path this is the what the folder i want to be deployed by cloud foundry i mean you as you have a static site when you build is a build folder a much smaller build folder that you can use to deploy live in the build pack i specify the static file build pack there are other types of build pack like um node.js ruby go etc so the next thing is to just cf push so when i do cf push Cloud Foundry automatically gets all the information I've specified in my manifest the YML file and use it to deploy my application. But if I do not specify a manifest the YML file, it would um, automatically do things, detect the language um, of the static file or the whatever application you are building and uses the default um, settings for it. So it's going to try and deploy my application now. It takes a few seconds and boom application has um, been deployed and has also started the application so now to access our application what we need to do is we need to specify click on um, the route to generate the route so a route is um, a live link where we can see our application deployed live over the internet so when we click on this it should show me my application live so everything works as it should be um dark mode light um light mode so that's it that's how you can deploy a static site um website on Cloud Foundry. Thank you.